career switch at 40. Is it even possible? Hey, welcome to the channel again. It's Muriel from Freedom Lifestyles Academy and I'm here to share with you three important questions that you can ask yourself uh, if you're thinking about making a career switch uh, at 40. Uh, before I do, uh, I want to ask you and actually invite you to subscribe to the channel here and to hit the bell icon if you are interested in getting notifications every time uh, myself or my husband Dirk is uploading a video so you can learn more about you know building a sustainable business online being your own boss creating a life on your terms being an entrepreneur affiliate marketing and basically everything that has to do with independence and creating your own economy so a career switch career switch at 40 it is possible um, if I take you by the hand to the year 2013 I was a social worker by trade and the only thing that I knew I was good at was having a job, being a mom, and I was paid by being a social worker, you know? And, you know, the confidence that I had was zero when it came down to what can I do to replace my husband's restaurant income, right? Because we hit bankruptcy. He hit bankruptcy with one of his two restaurants. And that was back in October 2013. We just came back from a vacation with the two children in Sardinia. And I remember that how devastated I felt, or we both felt, you know, still a little bit jet lagged. And we, we put the suitcases in the hallway when my best friend, who opened up the mailbox for us when we were away, you know, she said, I have to warn you, there is a big pile of blue envelopes from the tax department and they don't, they don't look, look pretty. So that was the message. You know, there was a foreclosure coming of one of the two restaurants. And that was basically bringing us with Rebecca back against the wall. And that brought me to the question, you know, career switch at 40. I was 40, I'm 46 right now. Uh, how is that possible? Is it possible? What can I do to, to just be financial independent and don't have to worry about money anymore? Well, what came, what happened after led to where I am today, right? I don't know if your dream is to live in Costa Rica and travel more. My two growing up kids are now 15 and nine. Uh, we have a puppy called Joey and a, and a dog, a big puppy called Lucky. But it doesn't mean that you have to be living in Costa Rica or working abroad. Nick! <laughs> He doesn't know that he is on, uh, uh, on video and I always say, hey, say hi to the video. But um, I wanted to share three important questions that you can ask yourself to get started with the process on, you know, career switch at 40 um, when you feel the way I felt back then. And that's those three questions. So it's actually also an assignment for you to do that you can start working on right after this video. And that is, first question, ask yourself, what am I good at, right? What do others tell me I'm good at? And three is what's holding me back? And when you focus on those three questions, first question, I actually thought that I was only good at being a social worker, right? But I forgot what that entailed, what that, what that meant, right? Like I was an employee and my, um, I was rewarded with a paycheck for the work that I was supposed to do in a nine to five job. And also I did night shifts and stuff, but my boss was in charge of what I was doing to receive that paycheck, right? So, um, what was I good at? What am I good at? What, I, I, I was almost forgetting what I was good at because I was focusing on what my boss wanted me to do in order to fulfill my job. So that was the result of just living a stressful life as a working mom, raising two growing up kids and a husband who owned restaurants and one was in foreclosure. So I urging you to literally uh, ask yourself, what am I good at? 
and take time for it because that's the start of a career switch, especially when you are in the center of your life, life like I was when I was at 40, around 40. Uh, the second question, what do others tell me uh, about it, right? How do they value me? What, for what things do they value me? And how can you discover what that is? Well, ask them, ask like a handful of people. It could be your close neighbor. It could be, um, you know, your best friend. It could be your spouse. It could be one of your children. It, it, could, be, it could be anyone who, you dare, who, who knows you, right? And ask them, what is the first thing that pop up, pops up in your mind? thinking about what am I good at? And why is it so important to ask others, those others is because they, they, they look through a different glasses. They have a different perspective, right? In general, we all women are tend to think lower about ourselves than we truly are worth. And that's important to realize. And the third question is what is holding me back, right? To change careers at 40, around 40, especially when in general it's scary, right, to do, because in general people are so likely to think that it's hard to change careers after doing for a long time something that you're good at or when you're not happy for a long time, what's next? Most people are brain dead after working for several years in a job that they're not happy at. That, that's also what happened with me. Uh, it was um, a mentally hard to be a social worker <clears throat> working with the clients that I work with. Excuse me. <coughs> so what's holding me back is uh, in general um, fears. And just I want, to, uh, I want you to address those fears. If you have fears on changing careers, write them down, address them, and then make it realistic. So is it a realistic fear or is it just something that's totally based on nonsense? It's because of people talking me into fear. It's because of... I don't know anyone who did, did do a successful career change. So it's basically triggering those fears, but you have to start asking yourself what's holding you back, right? So those are the three questions. What am I good at? What do others people, what do others think uh, about what I'm good at and what's holding me back? And uh, I am inviting you to, again, to subscribe to my channel if you like uh, my video, of course. Uh, but also to hit the bell icon, get notifications and share this video to anyone who you think can benefit from it, right? Uh, I am on this mission to inspire more women around the world because I am an entrepreneur. I made it, I changed careers at 40 and um, I will be making a series of videos touching every day on a specific topic on what I did to change my career at 40 and how you can do too. You cannot do it overnight. You cannot do it in a day, but by working on it day by day, yes, you can. So I look forward to see you on my next video, to read your reply, to see your thumbs up, and to see you on the channel. Bye. This was Muriel from Costa Rica from Freedom Lifestyles Academy.